would like to comment that it's very telling that the first thing you open the show with is a statement about Hawaiians would benefit from one less Haole in Hawaii. That is what Haoles always pick on. They never want to talk about the history. The, oh, you... listen, I, this is my opportunity to speak, and now mm -hmm. I'm going to speak. They never want to include the history. And as you know, because you have the article with you, that statement is made at the end of my argument. The argument is preceded by a defense of the word Howley, which we need to start with Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter, who is a 32-year-old student, or was, is Howley. He wrote into Kaleo, the student newspaper, saying he didn't like the word. He thought that the use of the word was Howley bashing. That was part of his argument. My reply to him was a defense in the very first paragraph of that word. Why did I defend that word? Because the Hawaiian language was officially banned by an all Howley government, Bob, in 1900. I'm That's not, very I'm important. Not speaking those historical let facts. me have my say. Let me say, I didn't like his letter any better than I like no, yours. Let, but let me have my say. <laughs> You've had a long time to interpret <laughs> what I said. I want to say to the listening, viewing public, what is consistently left out of my analysis. That includes your, what you left out, what the philosophy department leaves out, what everybody else leaves out. And that is the history of white supremacy, not only in Hawaii, but in the United States. I mentioned in that same article that in the American Constitution, blacks were three-fifths of a person. That was also left out by yourself and by other people. I mentioned genocide and removal of American Indians. I mentioned the fact that Asians were beaten because they were called the yellow peril, and that Japanese were interned during the Second World War, and that Native Hawaiians were dispossessed and their lawful government overthrown. Now, to leave all of those things out, and there are many other things that I haven't even mentioned about the contemporary status of Native Hawaiians, is really to inflame the response of the listening public who says, well, wait a minute, why did she say that? And my response is, I am saying that not only because it is historically and factually correct, Hawaiians would certainly benefit from less Haoles in Hawaii. Many, not just one, but thousands, as Tahitians would benefit from less French if if it can't be no French, as the Maoris would benefit from no Pakehas, as American Indians would benefit from no white Americans, because those people are settlers in native lands, and they are living on stolen land. Now, my advice to Mr. Carter was, you had better learn where you are, which is the same advice I give to the philosophy department, which <laughs> is in Hawaii. You are not in some white place, otherwise known as Europe. You're in a native place, and you are living on stolen land, so you have an obligation, number one, to understand the history of that place, which Mr. Carter does not want to understand, which Mr. Loudon of the philosophy department does not want to understand, and number two, you owe us something. Now, the question is, what do people owe us? Howleys owe us getting rid of their ignorance. They are so ignorant about Hawaii, they think they can fly here and say, oh, well, we're a numerical minority. We're unhappy here. Well, what I say to them is, learn where you are. You are not just off the coast of Southern California. You are in Polynesia, a stolen colony. That's what we are. We are a stolen colony. The United States has colonies. We are colonized people. Number two, learn the history. That's what I was trying to say to, uh, to Joey Carter, learn the history of white supremacy. Now, what does white supremacy consist of? Well, Mr. Carter didn't know this. Our language was officially banned. All Hawaiian language schools were closed. Who is Mr. Carter or any other white person to tell a Hawaiian we cannot use the word Hawaii? That is our word. Now, white people don't like that because they're used to being the people who name other people. And so they come here and they think that that word is a bad word. They think it's, it's pejorative. It's not pejorative. It's descriptive. Just like my, the name we have for Hawaiians is now Evi in Hawaiian. We are the native people. The other thing Hollies need to understand is what are the contemporary conditions that Hawaiians endure today. Continued land disposition, continued water loss, continued bad health, which we just discussed last night. All of these things, Hollies owe us. Just as if you went to Kenya, or you went to Tahiti, or you went to Palestine, you would owe those people there an understanding and a respect for their culture. And Mr. Carter has no respect for Hawaiians. So he complained about the word Hawaii. He complained about being what he said imposed upon. And my response to him was, if you don't like it, you can leave.